welcome back to my channel. Today is day five for Shark Week and we are going to make a crab dip um, recipe that's whole food plant based. Now this isn't going to taste exactly like a traditional crab cake because of course we're using other ingredients that aren't seafood but this is my substitute for when I want something that's similar to crab cake. Um, and this is also a higher fat recipe so if you are afraid of nuts or soy curls like tofu or stuff like that you would want to skip this but they're still all health promoting foods, just if you're doing a weight loss, I would suggest um, having very small amounts of this or, you know, skipping this. But if you are still following a whole food plant-based diet, you can definitely still enjoy this. This is still healthy. I just want to let you be aware that there are high fatter foods for this. So we have two cups cashews in a high speed blender. Now you can use a food processor if you have one as well. You're also going to need... Um, like a baking dish that you're going to put the dip in after. So two cups cashews and all of my um, ingredients for the recipe are linked in the description box below. You need one cup soy curls, which I'm soaking in water right now. While they were out of the package, I just broke them into two pieces or three pieces if I could to make them into smaller pieces. Um, just fill them up with water to cover them, set them aside for around 10 minutes. We're just going to add everything else to our blender. You're going to need one fourth cup of an unsweetened nut milk. I use cashew milk, so I have that right here. You're going to need one tablespoon of miso. This is our salt for the for this recipe. So I, a tablespoon is definitely what you're going to want. My cashews were unsalted, unroasted. They were just raw. Um, you're going to need two cloves of garlic. You're going to need one half of a lemon that you're going to squeeze. Okay. You're going to want to do two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. Half a teaspoon of Old Bay seasoning. One fourth a teaspoon of onion powder. And one fourth a teaspoon of paprika. We're gonna do one nori sheet that you will cut up into small pieces and put into your blender. So I'm just gonna rip them up with my hands, but you could use um, scissors if you had them. This and the Old Bay are going to give us that seafood taste. And it also gives a good source of iodine, which is nice. And if your blender is giving you trouble, you can add a little bit more of your unsweetened almond milk. Um, just, you know, you want it to be a thicker sauce. You don't want to make it too runny. So just be mindful when you're adding. So my blender definitely needed help, so I would do more of like half a cup, two, three fourths a cup of your nut milk. Um, I just like adding it as a go because everyone's blenders and appliances are different if you soaked your nuts versus if you didn't. So you just want it to be like a thick, a thick sauce. So um, I already tasted it, it tastes really good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drain my soy curls in the sink and then I'm going to stir in my um, dip into my pan and then slowly incorporate some of our soy curls in there and that's just going to give it more of like your lumps of crab more of a meaty texture so I'm going to go drain these and I'll be right back in the bowl that you're going to bake in the oven I have these really nice um, bowls that can just go straight into the oven you want to preheat your oven for 350 degrees this is going to take around 10 minutes to heat up now, if you want yours a little bit browner, you can go a little bit longer. You just want to keep an eye on it so you don't burn your dip. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit, and you can see it's definitely a thicker consistency, just to cover the inside of my, my container. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a handful of soy curls and just go ahead and place them and I did cut them into like smaller pieces of chunks and then you're going to just layer it with another layer of your dip 
and it tastes really good. The nori sheets definitely give it that um, seafoody taste. Like I said, it won't be 100% like craft it, but it's definitely gonna remind you of it. Go ahead and add more of your crab meat or soy curls. So this makes enough for about one of these nice bowls. I wasn't sure if um, my bowl, I've never made it in this bowl, specific bowl, so I wasn't sure if it was gonna be, um, there wasn't gonna be enough room, but this is actually the perfect size for it. I'm not gonna need to use the other one. And I'm just gonna go and scrape out every little bit of it. So I'm just gonna stir this up so that all of my soy curls are covered. And then I'm gonna pop it into, the, into our oven for about 10 minutes. And I'll show you guys what it looks like. I'll show you guys before it goes in the oven and after. But I know you guys are going to love this whole food plant-based crab dip. Right before it goes in the oven, all the soy curls are covered. And it smells so good and tastes good already. It just came out of the oven and it should be firm to touch. But it should still be ooey and gooey when we dip into it. Our dip came out of the oven, so I'm going to scoop it out and try some on camera. So I'm going to put it right below us. I have a hot plate. It is very hot. And we're going to try it out. One thing I've really been loving lately is this rye, whole wheat rye bread. And you saw it at my grocery store. The ingredients are really, really clean. Has six grams of fiber. This would be so good if you like cut up into little cubes and serve with this crab dip. So that's what I'm gonna do for my taste test. It comes, it's like a long piece, so you definitely get cut up. But it breaks really easily too into these nice little firm pieces, but this is what I'm gonna dip in. Yeah, so when you dip into it, like I, like I've done in the past, the top just gets nice and like like hard. When you dip in, the cream is the bottom comes out and it looks so good. It smells like seafood. Yeah. Take this to any person that you're trying to get to be healthier that might love seafood or a vegan party that you know obviously you don't want to eat seafood or anything like that but it still gives you all that flavor this is really good so if you make our crab dip please leave me a comment below make sure you subscribe this was day five of shark week i'm just doing some fun themed foods around one of my favorite weeks of the summer and um yeah let me know if you like this subscribe if you haven't like this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.